Now, let us focus on the property of the cell membrane or the plasma membrane that is selectively permeable. So, how does this movement take place? By a very simple process and that is diffusion. Now, what is diffusion? Diffusion means movement from higher concentration to lower concentration. I am writing it at a lower level so that you will remember it like that. So, you know it is easy to move anything from high to down even when you are driving if there is a slide it is easier you know even if you have switched off your engine you can move even while climbing climbing up is difficult climbing down is easier. So, you see whether it is carbon dioxide or oxygen they are able to move from high concentration to low concentration. Like for example, when food is oxidized carbon dioxide is produced. So, carbon dioxide is in higher concentration in the cells while the surrounding medium has less carbon dioxide. So, it will move out from the semi permeable membrane and the guards standing there I am giving this example of guards they will not stop it because they are only going from higher concentration to lower. But these very guards will stop that substance which is in less concentration. However, if it is more outside like say oxygen the guards will allow. Now, what are these guards? I am giving this example actually there are tiny pores. So, they are like the gates. So, through these pores the material can move in and out with the help of diffusion. Not only these gases can move even water can move. Now, how? There is a special type of diffusion which is called osmosis. You know diffusion is mainly of solute molecules. What are solute molecules? The molecules which can be dissolved in a solvent. So, they are solute. And what about solvent? What is the good solvent or a universal solvent? Water. So, you see when there is a semi permeable membrane and say this is soil, this is a root hair. Root hair has less water while if soil is properly watered there will be more water. So, it will move inside. So, what does that mean? Water or the solvent can move from its higher concentration to lower concentration through a semi permeable membrane. There are some very nice and simple activities for this. You take a potato, cut it from base and scoop a cavity out of it. This is the cavity that has been scooped. Now, in this you fill up sugar solution. and place this in a beaker that has water. To mark the level of water you put a pin here. Let it be like this for some time. After about 3-4 hours what you will find is that level of water has increased. From where has this water come? From the beaker because sugar solution is a concentrated solution and there is less water. So, what is the direction of movement of water? From water's higher concentration to lower concentration. When a solution is dilute it is called hypotonic. So, pure water is of course, hypotonic. You, you know you can also do it with an egg. If you remove the shell, now you will start laughing that if we break the shell egg contents will come out. So, we will not do it like by breaking. If you put a shell egg in hydrochloric acid the shell will dissolve because shell is nothing but calcium carbonate. Acid will act on it and it will dissolve and only membrane will be left. So, if you put this egg in water you will find after some time the egg swells. Why? 
because water entered in it, the egg contents are concentrated. So, this will be swollen. Once again, water has moved from hypotonic solution to hypertonic. This is hyper, this is hypo. You can even do it with raisins. You put raisins in water and after some time they swell. But what will happen if you say put it in roux of the or a sharbat? You see you take grapes, you put them in sharbat. What is sharbat? A highly concentrated sugar solution. What will you find? They will start shrinking. Because this sharbat is hypertonic and as compared to this, the grapes are hypotonic. So, the point is not that water comes into the beaker or into the cell, it depends upon the concentration gradient. So, water always moves from hypotonic solution to hypertonic solution. Actually, it does not mean that water only moves in one direction, it actually moves in both directions, which means water will move into these uh, grapes also and out also. Here also they will move into resin also and out also, but the amount of water that moves in or out varies. So, if it is put in hypotonic solution, water will move into the cell when it is called end osmosis and if it is put in a hypertonic solution, water will move out and it is called ex osmosis. Now, let us think of another variable. What if both solutions are of same concentration, which is called isotonic? Then there will be no net gain or loss of water. Now, this question is very important from practical point of view. During practicals, you know, there is viva. So, generally this question is asked in viva because we do the experiment to show the percentage of water absorbed by raisins. So, this becomes because it is little ticklish. So, please be very careful about understanding hypertonic, hypotonic, isotonic solutions and the movement of water.